Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock options analysis. So we'll be doing a couple of things here. Well, first of all, going over the options data, putting a confluence together with the technicals of Nvidia and I'll be providing my opinion what type of options may come to fruition, what is the probable window to trade in the options, not just in options but technicals as well, up or down this week right now i would highly suggest if you can go to my channel and check this video out where i have talked about a little caution on nvidia stock for this week this video will give you a technical head start already but i'll still talk about a couple of things here but if you want to know much more in depth it's all right over here in this video as for the technical analysis all right so let's put some confluences and see the data first and we'll put confluences with the technicals on how things are looking like for Nvidia stock, right? With that, please hit the like and subscribe and also please note, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes, all right? Please do your own thing, guys. I'm just sharing here my opinion, nothing more than that. So Nvidia, the reason I am a bit cautious and you would be like junior trader how could you be cautious this week when you are we are seeing such a huge short sorry huge uh calls interest sitting at 140 dollars 145 150 why why are you being cautious and the reason for that is guys is because when i turn on the short volume data here the short sellers have started to come back up in quite a high quantity. Anything on Nvidia above 30 percent is high. Just consider that. 34, 34, 32 percent from last three days is the short volume per day coming on Nvidia. And price has been slowing down from last three days there, right? Provided it's coming at high short volume in trust over there that we only had previously when we did a flip at again close to very all time highs and it's coming close to all time high. Now, it doesn't mean that price is just going to crash. We still have to go through the levels. And for that, if those things happens and more in-depth analysis, you would understand in this video that I just pointed you to. NVIDIA be a little bit cautious this week, this particular video. That will tell you everything. But that's the reason and as how things a little bit can slow down. Short volume person is coming high. If some lines we lose, some levels we break that cool off will may at least this week start happening to certain levels and then we'll see how eventually the week wraps up and how things would look like but again all that is in my technical video that i have done here on my channel check it out all right so that being said let's take a look at where the traders are betting their money now remember note i'm saying that where the traders are betting their money it also doesn't guarantee where the price is going to go it just tells you where the sentiment is and if the price action supports the sentiment then we know okay price action is supporting that sentiment just like last time we had 120 huge call sitting short sellers disappeared there was no brainer that we're gonna go up this last week and we went and we went quite high up right so but it so it helps you in identifying a direction based on the, the price action but don't keep one criteria as your sole parameter to make a decision. You still have to put a confluence and that's what I'm doing here for you. So with that, hit the like and subscribe as well if you haven't done so guys. All right, so right off the gate, let's get puts out of the way first and 110 is where I'm seeing the highest puts. I have a range here from 110 all the way to 150. 110 is the highest puts I'm seeing here, which is just, not making any sense because no matter what nvidia does in my opinion 110 dollar puts just not going to happen like if 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 i have to give it a probability because hey anything is possible in the stock market right but if i have to give this a probability that will be zero 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 point sorry <laughs> zero point zero 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 one percent something all right that's just way out of the way so there is no point in these traders just are not gonna make any money 130 is already in the money and uh, these traders are already betting ahead of the time and then 120 is now low but it's still high and this was the last two weeks was the reason that we were pumping higher and short sellers disappeared because a lot of interest was sitting at 120 it has come down now because you know interest have moved higher as well so but those profits have been taken positions have been closed 
So 130 is already in the money. I want to talk about the 140 because that's where we have an all time high. So that's a sentimental shifter right right over here. So a lot of calls are sitting around this area. Is that a possibility? Well, so this particular week, it's important to take into account the time frame for the options, right? And we are dealing with the expiration for this week. The only way $140 calls can happen this week if, let's go to the hourly interval, if we don't lose this level, $133, $132.89 to $133.50 here. If we don't lose this, we are just fine. Then $140 is a possibility. The problem is that if we start to lose $133 area, Compound that with already high short sellers coming in They're gonna start pounding it much more lower and then they're gonna push it into this blue box down another blue box $130 level and That's where I expect Nvidia to a little bit that's going to start the fight between bulls and the bear short sellers and the bulls and That may push Nvidia sideways. So it's not that it's the Nvidia is going to go on then 115 114 no, but it starts it starts the process for the high short sellers because the volume high is coming and that will give them more confidence to push it much more lower. So then this will be the fight zone for more uh, decisiveness. And but so if we don't lose $133 area pair, all right, and we do break, uh, start to break out about 136 right away on Monday, just even if we find support here and start to go up, right, and not even if we are not above 136, but if we confirm the support here, that's sufficient enough that 140 has a possibility this week, all time highs. So it all comes down to uh, not losing 133.50 area level. All right, that's all it what comes down to. If we are above it, 140 is a possibility. I'm seeing high calls also at 145. So now we are getting into the territory of even pushing higher than the all time highs, right? 145. And remember, you will only make money on these expiration calls if price goes above these. So 145 comes over here. Now we are getting into the extreme bullish possibilities that it's going to remain unstoppable. And for that, if I can see it on Monday, it has to be happen on Monday if you want to have possibility of 145. If by Monday I can see a candle like strong breakout above the 136 level and a close like that strong bullish candle Monday it has to happen on Monday or even let's say Tuesday if Nvidia can do it 145 also can come into range of playable range of for the calls or any technicals as well oh what did I do I just uh, did something there but anyways so now 150 now this is where we get into a little bit of a super optim optimistic territory, all right? I think that's quite far away for this week expiration. I think 150 is out of the range, all right? So that's that for the guys, the options and how what I think can come into fruition. Now, again, you can make your choice, right? And I'm gonna provide also uh, the window range that I expect this week. Last week, I, I said that guys, the safest range that price would do would be highest I provided 136 and you can see precisely that's the highest range Nvidia did last week. This week in my opinion again this is not that price is going to go these ranges both ways. What I'm saying is that as technicals confirms for the upside then that's the highest range right and what is that? In my opinion the safest range is high being 140 a little bit maybe higher right that's the safest range for the upside and then to the downside i would say 127 and 61 cents i'm not going to go anywhere beyond this range either to the upside or to the downside if you're watching just for the safest range i think this week nvidia again not saying that nvidia is going to go all the way to 127 and then all the way to 140 no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that this is the range that it will stay within provided if it breaks the levels to the downside then the downside range if we continue to stay bullish then the upside range right but this is the safest range in my opinion this week that nvidia will stay in 127 and 61 cents area all the way to 140 and 77 cents area 140 yeah that's the range so 
that's what I want to leave you with. And that's pretty much it. Now you decide if you want to do puts or calls based on these range. Some could be day in intraday puts or calls or, you know, um, you know, or calls in the expiration. What I would say is just last opinion on my end, just my opinion, do whatever you want to do. I think it's still, uh, you know, puts because the direction overall is bullish. E holding puts, you know, it's a little bit of a daunting task. You might be willing to trade intraday puts that's fine or just but i don't think puts will give you give any benefit to hold until expiration but do whatever you want and but i provided the window range anything is possible and uh that's the window range i expect nvidia to stay within all right 127 and 50 cents almost to 140 and 50 cents i'm just rounding the cents there right so 140 is the top line though all right well, that's it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in my next videos. All right, bye.